Okay, now let's move on to step three. Let's move on to step three. Step three, we're going to look at verbs and nouns. This is really, really important because in most cases, you see candidates not answering the question that they've been asked to answer. They tend to set their own questions and answer them. So how are we going to look at the verbs and the nouns? Okay, the verb is actually talking about instructions. What have you been instructed to do? And the noun is just talking about the subject matter. What have you been instructed to do on what? What have you been instructed to do on what? So let's go into details. If you take the question requirements again, in A, we are expected to estimate. We are expected to estimate the effective interest rate costs using features contract and the options contract. With the B, we are instructed or supposed to outline the benefits and dangers of using derivative arrangement. So what will be the instructions? If you pick A, the instruction is estimate. Estimate effective interest rate costs. So the instruction, what you are supposed to do, which is the verb here is estimate. What are you supposed to estimate? You are estimating the effective interest rate costs. What will be the subject matter? What are you going to use to estimate the interest rate costs? The question said you would have to use the features contract and the options contract. So the subject matter here relates to using the features contract and the option um, contract. So that is what the requirement A is telling us to do. Requirement B is telling us to outline the benefit and dangers. That's why I've highlighted you seeing different colors. Outline benefits, dangers, derivative arrangement. So these are the things that you need to pick from the question in order for you to be able to answer it. So outline benefit, outline dangers. Then the derivative instrument becomes the subject matter. The derivative instruments become the subject matter. The question was derivative instrument, benefit, dangers, outline them. Okay, when you talk about the derivatives, we all know derivatives should be any instrument that would derive its value um, from the value of another instrument. So what type of derivatives can you think of suggesting here? We have to think about the forward contract, features contract, options contract, and the swap. So the question was telling you to outline the benefit, the dangers of derivatives. So the examiner will expect you to talk about the outlined benefit and dangers of these four types of derivative instruments at least. These four types of derivative instrument at least. So when we talk about the verbs and the noun, the summary will be that you will need to read the question requirement well in order to know what you have been asked to do. You would have to read the question requirements well in order to know what you have been asked to do. What is the instruction and what is the subject matter? What are you supposed to calculate? What are you supposed to discuss? And on what? Okay, so this becomes the step three.